This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Tuesday morning. University of Michigan quarterback Jack Tuttle says he's retiring for health reasons. He says the decision comes after experiencing a fifth concussion and health challenges after injuring his elbow. He says the repair was in his throwing arm and he needs to prioritize his health. This season, he made two starts. Prior to playing in Michigan, he played at the University of Utah. Former President Donald Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, is campaigning in Michigan today. He's holding events in Saginaw and Holland this afternoon. He plans to talk about the Biden-Harris administration's impact on the economy. Vance was just in the state last week for a rally in Waterford Township. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate Tim Walls campaigned across Michigan yesterday. In Ann Arbor, the two spoke to the crowd about their vision for making the U.S. economy stronger by breaking down the cost of housing, cutting taxes for the middle class, giving workers across the country a fair minimum wage, and lowering health care costs. This morning, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson says nearly 25% of Michigan voters are taking advantage of early voting. More than 145,000 voters took part in early voting. It's held for nine days. And in-person early voting is a new option in Michigan. The last day to take advantage of early voting is Sunday. The building owner behind a deadly explosion in March appeared in court yesterday, but the case was adjourned until next month. The case on hold until the EPA hands over the findings of its investigation. Nor Kestu is charged with manslaughter and illegally storing gas canisters full of nitrous and butane inside the Goose Smoke Shop and Select Distributors Warehouse in Clinton Township. A teenage boy who River Rouge police say was kidnapped by his dad has been found safe during a traffic stop in Kentucky. Police say 13-year-old Christopher Brown Jr. is now undergoing a medical evaluation. Investigators say he was last seen getting into a vehicle registered to his dad on Sunday. His father lost custody after a child abuse incident in August. He's in custody awaiting charges. Let's check in now with Troy for our next weather forecast this Tuesday morning. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Chris. A warm day today going to a record high. The record for today is 77 set in 1999. We're going to a high of 78 degrees. Now we're starting off with some rain, but by the afternoon we're clearing out. We'll see more and more sunshine as the day goes on and temperatures staying mild as late as 8 o'clock tonight. We're still at 71 degrees. Many areas today going into the upper 70s for afternoon high temperatures. You can see we're going to do it all over again tomorrow with a high of 78. Then rain chances on Halloween, then a cool down behind that. Chris, back to you. Thanks for that, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.